Hello everyone. In this series of video tutorials, you will learn how to use the BUN module of eSurvey Water. Welcome to the video tutorial about how to create a new file and update settings in a tank BUN project using the BUN module of eSurvey Water. Open eSurvey Water application. In the file menu, click New File. Select the BUN option and give a file name and then click on the Save button. Select the BUND sub-menu under the main menu. First, you need to do project settings. Either you choose the default settings in tools menu or provide the project settings manually for your design as explained next. The following settings should be done before doing the design. In main menu, click settings and provide the settings as mentioned in this section. First, do the basic settings in the basic tab. Here, Choose the settings for default drawing scale LS and CS and set the datum precision. Choose the project type from basic settings, that is, existing bund improvement or new minor irrigation tank depending upon your requirements and save it. Next, to set the cross-section layer settings, select CS layers in project settings. In CS layers tab that opens, enter the settings for CS layers like layer visibility, captions, text height, Remarks Orientation, Line Color, Project Line, Line Type, Text Width, Font Name, Row Height, Font Color, Decimal Precision and Gradient Type. If you want to edit many layer settings with the same values, you can set that directly in Bulk Layer Edit Group. Choose the layers with common settings by checking the respective layer checkbox or check the box by selecting Select All. Select the item from Option drop-down and specify a value and click Apply as shown. To set the layer order in drawing for printable layers, click the Order button and in the window that opens, set the order by selecting the layers and clicking the buttons up and down to change the order level. Click the Fonts button to set the fonts in the window that opens. To keep the default settings, you can click the Apply Default button. In the same way, you can apply settings for LS layers by selecting the respective tab. Next, select the Section Display CS tab. In the Section Display tab, you can edit the Section Display settings for the cross section. In Section Header and Footer settings, set the prefix and suffix. Select Section Number and Print Scale if you want to display it and choose the separator. In Graph, select the Horizontal and Vertical Scale, Major Axis and Minor Axis. If you want to display from the leftmost position, check the box from leftmost. Select the thousand operator. If you want to display the values as per scale, check the checkbox. The section display LS settings can be done in the same way as section display CS settings. Next, select the section captions CS tab. Here you can set the font, height, width and color for cross section captions. Next. Select the Section Captions LS tab. Here, you can set the font, height, width and color for LS Section Captions in the same way as you did for the Section Captions CS tab. Select the Reports tab to do report settings. Here, you can set the project title, volume and area report headings, printout and unit settings. Select Other Settings tab to set the other LS and CS settings like Row Header Width, Height of Remark Row, Interior Line, index line and general settings like projection line color and leader remark wrap details. Thank you for watching the video. In this video, you have learned how to create a new file and apply settings to a tank bund project. In the next video, you will learn how to import data to eSurvey water interface.